Hey guys and welcome to the Q&A video I'm doing with Guardi FIFA on my channel. We both hit two huge milestones lately. I hit 5k, Guardi FIFA hit uh, 4k. I'm going to call him Sam from now on. And check him out in the description guys because we did a Q&A video on his channel as well. Pretty funny if you ask me. Someone's going down on Akin Fenwa, that's all I'm saying. Just go check that out. <laughs> go check that out. And in my video we're going to answer some more questions hopefully. Um, and hopefully it's interesting. First question is for both of us, and it's from a good friend of ours, Flickify, and he's asking us, who is our favourite national football team to watch, other than your own, hashtag Guardi to 4K likes? I'm going to give this one to you first. Uh, right now, as far as right now, Germany, because bloody hell, mate, you talk about efficiency, you talk about like just ruthlessness and like just the most clinical play you've ever seen in your life. It is just the most well-oiled machine as far as a national team that I've witnessed in a very long time. Um, like, they absolutely dominate the World Cup. When did they ever seem like they were not going to win the World Cup? Like, at, at every single point, it looked like they were going to win it. And they're just incredible. The players that they have, the depth they have, the young talent they have, they are just the complete nation at this point in time. They're just a machine. And I agree with what you say, that right now, they're just the best national football team in the world i don't care what you say they are the best but when it comes to like like watching them i still have that old you know brazil mentality of samba football and that's what i enjoyed watching the most and even though it's not there anymore for brazil because they were absolutely horrible in the world cup i'm still for nostalgic reasons gonna say brazil i enjoy watching them the most Purely because of the players like Ronaldinho and Kaká and Ronaldo and just, oh, that was legendary. And that's always going to stick for me. So I'm always going to support Brazil a little bit. I'm going to go for them. That's fair enough. 12 seconds later. All right, then, second question. Would you play FIFA for the rest of your life or win one million and no longer play FIFA ever again? What would you do, Sam? Um, I'm greedy, so I'm going to take the money pretty much and the whole idea behind it and I'm sure Tim will agree is that FIFA isn't the only football simulator out there uh, I'm sure something else would come up but to, to turn down that amount of money would just be nuts it's I, really I, I just couldn't do yeah. it I, I at agree. this point in my life especially yeah no I agree I, I'd stop playing FIFA I'd burn the disc and throw it out if I could get a million for that and there is still Pez but I probably won't play that either, unless they make some significant improvements. I, I can live without FIFA, you know. There's other games to play, there's other things to do than to game. And yep. as for now, it's the thing I enjoy the most. But think of what you can do when you get a million. You could do whatever mm -hmm. the fuck you want. Jason asks, what style of football do you two play on FIFA? High pressure, attacking football, possession football, or counter-attacking football? I already know what you play like, Sam, but just... Explain what your play style is for the people watching. Uh, I do enjoy the uh, the good old fashioned possession play, passing it about, taking my time and, and, and trying to find those cracks because I'm just very, I'm all about the realistic gameplay. So um, I understand that a lot of Ultimate Team players and even some Karimo players just love, you know, the cutthroat attacking football. But for me, it's like I want FIFA, especially in career mode, I want FIFA to be and on the, you know, a football simulator, pretty much. And so I like to play like the way they do in real life, where sometimes you take your time and you have to try and pick apart a team. Um, and I don't mind passing it about for you know a minute or two and, and taking my time and trying to find the right run, because I don't want to lose the ball because I'm shit at defending. So I'd say possession and passing is definitely my gameplay. So you just, you play career mode like you should play career mode. And yeah, that, that is by exactly course. what you should be doing. I am. Mm -hmm. The complete opposite. I'm an abomination of career mode because all I do is run up the pitch, try and dribble, skill, go straight for goal, not even caring about possession at all. So I've mentioned in my videos multiple times, I've got 40% possession, but that's fine. I got more shots. And that's my mentality, and it's it works. And it's how I play. But I realise that it's probably not what you should be doing in career mode. Next question is: If you could bring any player to your favourite club. Who would it be and why? And this is a really good question because, you know, you're a Manchester United fan, I'm an AC Milan fan. We will have different reasons, probably, for who we bring to our club. But uh, you can start. Who would you bring to your club and why? 
Oh, well, being a Manchester United fan, I, th I think it's quite obvious who I'd bring to the club if I had to pick one person. And it would just be the dream signing, wouldn't it? It would be our Lord and Saviour, Nicholas Bentner. Oh, oh, okay. I, I didn't see that one. I mean, I um, Cristiano Ronaldo. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I mix those two up a lot. You know, they're very similar talented, you know, talent levels. I meant Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm sorry. Okay. I get them mixed up. It's it's human. It's natural. The two best players in the world, you're bound to mix them up eventually. But yeah, Ren nah, Ronaldo. Come on, man. Being a United fan, if I could see him in a, in a United shirt again in his career, that would be the dream. Uh, it's very easy to pick that. You put Ronaldo next to Bender as the two best players in the world? I'm, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but Ronaldo hasn't scored a single goal for Denmark. Oh, hasn't he? No. No, he hasn't. Or in the or in the Bundesliga. Exactly. I've heard. How can you even compare the two? Anyways, um, who would I bring to AC Milan? Now, if it was... It's probably... It's obviously for uh, today's game of football. I can't go back in time. You can't bring back Maldini. No. no. But I would bring back... Ricardo Kaká in his prime. I can't do that, unfortunately, so I'm not going to go for him. In modern, current day football, I think I would have to go with... I don't want to say Messi. That's so generic. That's so generic. But it's... I don't know. It's tough. It really is tough. 2,000 years later. Sam just made a good point saying Thiago Silva, and if I could, I'd definitely bring him back. But the impact that Lionel Messi has on the team, I, you just can't look past it. I think I'd have to go for Messi because he's just... Well, I'm not going to... Well, I don't want to cause any controversy, but he's in the top two best players of the world, right? And Thiago Silva... No, I'll, I'll, I'll call some controversy. Okay. He's the best player on the planet uh, right now. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's your, there's your controversy. Okay. And I just said I would bring Ronaldo back to my team. So there you go. Exactly. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Right. You know what? I I genuinely can't pick between the two. I, you're not you're not doing an interview. You don't you don't have to be politically correct. No, Just I'm, say who you like. I'm for. I'm not politically okay. You know what? I <laughs> I prefer to watch Ronaldo play. I prefer okay, to but, see but, him but, do no, no, what no, he but does. To, yeah. But to bring into your team, it has to be Messi because he has exactly. the biggest impact. He can do anything in any yes. team. And he's a yes. he's a genius. That's why I bring him to the club. He is a he's a mastermind. Exactly. Secretly. Yeah. All right. Controversial Q and A for us today. Why not? All right. A less controversial question this time. Would you rather use eye drops made of vinegar or toilet paper paper made from sandpaper? <laughs> That's controversial, dude. That's not, <laughs> it's not. It really is. Well, maybe it is. Uh, I don't know. Um, I I just I did sandpaper. Why not? Ah, yeah. I would I would not want vinegar in my eyes. I've had soap in my eyes. That shit hurts. I don't want, I don't want vinegar in my eye. Yeah, soap hurts. But what does vinegar do? Is it the same type of pain you feel? I don't know really. I've never had it. Have before. you smelt vinegar? I'm yeah, sure it yeah. hurts the way it smells. Maybe it doesn't though. Maybe we're all okay. Wrong. You know you know when something tastes the way it smells, sort of. Yeah. I'm I'm assuming vinegar hurts the way it smells. Like it just. It's just sour. It just hurts. And in that case, I'll go for sandpaper. But I wouldn't mind trying out eye drops made of vinegar for once, at least. So I'd You can go for it. Tell yeah. me how it goes. Yeah. I I'd like to know. Exactly. I'll, I'll do it once. I'll do the sandpaper. I'll let you know you do the vinegar. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. And the final question for this Q&A is going to be an interesting one. Who is your favorite player of all time? John adds to that that his favorite player of all time is Ronaldinho. But who is your favorite player of all time? Um... I mean, this is, I mean, talk about controversial. It's not a Manchester United player uh -huh. <laughs> at all. And what's even funnier is that we might have possibly the same favorite player of all time, because mine is, in I, fact, I, Paolo Maldini. Oh, really? It, yeah, it is, yeah. Growing up, I, I remember watching him uh, in the, like the Champions League on SBS in Australia. And like, I don't know what it was about him, but the reason I've become, I mean, I play centre back now when I play football. The reason I became a centre back was because of him. My favourite number is number three, and it's not because of him, but it made me like him even more. And I remember watching his last game. I'm, I don't know if you watched it, yeah. but when he retired, yeah. And I genuinely was sad. I've been sad for two players' retirements, 
Maldini and Van der Sar. And Van der Sar will be a close second as my favorite player, but I have to pick Maldini because I've pretty much based my entire football life on him, trying to be a center back like him. So I'd have to pick Maldini. And that's why I said maybe we'd have the same favorite player. Because you said that, you put me in a bit of an awkward position. Because as a Milan fan, I kind of have to go for him or someone else. But there are so many great players that have played for AC Milan. But I, I, look, let's make this clear. What Maldini has achieved is arguably the greatest, greatest career of any professional footballer ever. At least of what I've seen so far. What he has done 20 years long is... Yeah insane but Never emotionally think the top guy as well but my favorite player ever for ac milan i cried for him when he got transferred for about i think it was 40 million i literally cried. I that, oh, that was the first time someone i loved left ac milan and i i just couldn't get over it and it's gonna stick with me for the rest of my life it's andre chevchenko it was horrible to see him go to Chelsea I, I couldn't deal with it and afterwards I got used to it because Kaká went to Real Madrid uh, I even got emotional when Pato left but Chevchenko oh, I, I love that. Chevchenko I love that. Was, was the first guy that I looked up to and was my favourite player and I just I don't think I'll ever ever cry for anyone again but he's genuinely been the only one I cried for if it was outside of Milan though I'd go Ronaldinho Let's, I just want to add that because he's fantastic. I love the guy. I honestly do. But I have to pick an AC Milan player because I'm an AC Milan supporter. And Chevchenko for me, oh, my all-time player. Ronaldo well, was an AC Milan player. Yeah, but so. he's not a legend. Like when we're talking about yeah. AC Milan legends, you've got he wasn't built. He wasn't built. No, exactly. Yeah, he played there for a short period of time, and I appreciate that. And I'm glad we got to see him in a Milan shirt. But he hasn't mm. achieved what others have achieved. Legends of the Rossoneri and. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a tough question because there's so many awesome players, but I, I'll stick with Chevchenko for me. Yeah, I, a lot of people might find that odd that I don't have Manchester United player, but if it was Man United, it'd be Van der Sar, which again, a lot of people might find weird because he's a goalkeeper. Not many people have goalkeepers as their favourite um, players, but for me, it I always felt so safe watching Manchester United, and man. That, that Champions League win we had, the penalty shootout and him celebrating, that is something I will always remember. Always. Mm, same. The penalty Chevchenko made us win the Champions League in 2003 against Juve is something that is... I can see it right in front of me right now, detailed as ever, and it's like 12 years ago. It's brilliant. Right, that's going to wrap up this Q&A with Agari FIFA Sam. Thank you for being on the channel and uh, participating with this Q&A. Check him out, guys, of course. He recently hit 4K. Let's get him way over that. Let's see what we can do in a short space of time. FIFA 16 is pretty new. We're hoping that's going to be an awesome year for all of us. Please leave a like on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!